Hey, happy Sunday morning, my friends. How are you today? <clears throat> Sorry about that. I have to clear. I haven't even spoken today. I've got up so early. So I put the radio in the right spot. I actually forgot to put the roof on. Oops, so that's a bit of an amendment. But there you go, it's in the right spot now. And I put a little um, uh, wire there to attach to the radio. That goes up and over, around, and underneath the um, antenna port. And I'll just snip that little last bit off. So I've just stuck it in now, which is cool. And we've got the roof on. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot to put the roof on. So there we go, all good, all proper now. So that'll go all sweet on top like that. All fits in, radio fits in, everything's good. So I don't think I'll put the second seat, but I'm not sure yet. I've taken off one of the um, port thingies for the flamethrower device, so I'll have to stick that on properly. So we've also got the rifle rack in put that in it comes this looks pretty good it's a bit off center but yeah whatever I like it I painted the MGs and I put in a seat for one of the guys I've just made a metal seat I'm thinking of putting another one on this side but I drilled a hole for it but the that pipe is a lot longer and it goes right over that hole so I'm gonna I might have to try and think of another way to put a seat for him but i was thinking as a three-man crew so you've got one seat for him one seat for the driver and one seat for the commander so maybe that's enough seats i'm not sure let me know what you think about the seating arrangements so that's coming along really nicely also we got this sorted out looks really good so that's got a bit of ceiling to on it and all that ready to go so you can see the seal and all that kind of stuff so and I've tested this out you don't really see the bottom here so it's not a big issue also I put that lovely photo etch clip on that dragon included it's really nice all the photo etch that dragon includes is very nice high quality stuff yeah and there's just there's not a heap of it here you see, look at that, that gun sight. They do very nice um, photo etch parts. These long ones are meant to go under the, um, the mud guards, but I don't know if it's going to be worth the effort of, of getting it all put in because I'll be covering it up with a bit of mud anyway. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll look into that. I'll think about that now. But... Um, I've got the, the device in, you see under there how it clips into the fuel tank, so it sucks fuel out of them, and, um, and then does its thing, blows fire out of its device. I've also put this on top here, so connecting the two fuel tanks, but I'll have to just paint that by hand. And there's a couple more of those kind of uh, fuel lines and shit that go over the side. But we'll do them as we do them. It's not the easiest build, but it's really rewarding to be quite honest. Bit of a head fuck. But you get there. Slowly, slowly. I'm building up the, the, the fenders now. Bring them together. And you can sort of see how the blue comes through in the uh, flamethrower device. It is worthwhile doing that, undercoating it with its blue. Just makes it more colder. I'll show you this so uh, I've already had a look but yeah it's, that'll go on top I've just got to we've just got to do the filters I mean the washers now and I'll detail up the radio and get the cord snipped up and 
in place because I just put that in place. I've just put down the super glue and having this little bit here helps to you know, jam it into place. All right, I've got to go see my brother today, Sunday. We're in lockdown, but um, I'm allowed to, because I live alone, I'm allowed to choose a single bubble or something like that, and I'm allowed to go see someone. So I've chosen my brother, that way I can see the kids as well. So I'll go see him. All right, guys, I'll keep working away on this and we'll keep updating you. All right, bye.